Welcome to Elf Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news is coming out this morning uh, out of Israel, out of Syria. Both the Syrian army warns Israel it will respond after military airport bomb near Damascus. You ever talk about wanting uh, or talk about uh, seeing that, uh, you know, the, 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 the people wanting to make prophecy fulfill intentionally? Israel really has no business in Syria de bombing in support of uh, the terrorists that the U.S. has been backing over there. And so I think that is, uh, and I say Israel, I, mean, I need to say the, the, the government, not Israel, just like they say about America when I say it's the U.S. that's doing all this ungodliness supporting terrorism in the Middle East, and people always point out to me, it's not Americans, it's the Obama administration. So in this case here, it's Netanyahu's administration that has, again, attacked the, the Syrian military itself, their base there at the airport. Now, this is according, I do need to make a, 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 a clause in this, this is according to the Syrian uh, government as of right now. Uh, we don't have, um, we still do not have, you know, confirmation from the Israelis that they actually have done this. Uh, the Syrian government says that they have. Uh, let's take a quick uh, peek here at Rupsley's uh, film on this here. This is uh, some of the footage here that you're seeing now on your screen after the, uh, the, the bombing from the jets that came in, the fires that are burning there at, uh, at the military base by the airport there. Uh, just tremendous explosions happening uh, as a result there. So anyway, it says the Syrian Arab army has warned that there will be repercussions for Israel for the for the flagrant attack on the military base. State TV said, citing a Syrian army command spokes, uh, spokesman, it is also linked to the alleged uh, strike to Israel's support of terrorist groups. They stated there. So that's that's basically what's coming out there. Uh, not sure exactly what time the attack took place as of yet. Um, just looking to see. Well, according to this uh, report right here, it's uh, around 12 a.m., so it was midnight time, local time. The Army said several missiles were fired at uh, Meza Airport's compound from the Lake Tiberias area uh, in northern Israel at about 12 a.m. Uh, Friday, the strike reportedly damaged one of the compounds in crucial, crucial military facility. The Meza Airport is located west of Damascus, just five kilometers from the presidential palace, the official residence of the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. <clears throat> and, you know, this is very much similar to that of what NATO did when NATO had launched a, the the, uh, the strike on supposedly the Syrians uh, at Del El Zord, killing uh, 65 of the Syrian military uh, that was there and just causing a tremendous amount of havoc in this in that area there. Uh, it's a very, very serious situation we're seeing unfold here and could easily escalate. And it's, of course, no surprise, really, that uh, President Netanyahu, excuse me, Prime Minister Netanyahu has actually done this in light of the fact that there's about to be a U.N. vote here in Paris, France, where we are now covering the U.N. vote here against Israel to divide the land. And, of course, we're in more solidarity with Israel of not dividing the land. Danny Dan and I should say, not Israel itself per se, but <clears throat> we know Netanyahu has so far been supposedly uh, speaking about, you know, being willing to do a two-state solution, uh, but under the guidelines that Israel would agree upon, which is more understandable. Danny Dan and I'm more in line with his ideology that it should be one state with equality for both Arabs and Jews living in that state. Uh, but uh, this could be why Netanyahu is actually doing this at this time. Again, I still think that Netanyahu is playing his cards in line with that of President Barack Obama and maybe to ignite a war. Um, and I think that's what happened when we saw in Russian news that we reported to you a little while back here about a week ago that uh, in the Russian media it reported that Netanyahu had had a private phone conversation with uh, Pr uh, President Putin and Prime Minister Netanyahu at that time did state to President Putin that they were ready to, to invade Syria. Was he tipping him off, letting him know what, uh, what the U.S.'s plans were as a result of the Obama administration turning their back on Israel? I don't know. 
but uh, nonetheless, uh, the Israeli government is getting involved uh, in Syria very much uh, to my dismay, and I, I certainly wish that that was not the case. But we can see how Isaiah chapter 17, I believe it is, uh, Damascus becomes a ruinous heap. No wonder. Uh, provocation seems to be something that may very well fulfill that scripture. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.